Now this is a uh, a reply to Steve Mead in his first anniversary of the DD1. I just received in the package. I've just got it here. Oh yeah. Finally got the DD1 over here in New Zealand. Oh look at that, eh? Oh she looks good. It's worth it with its weight in gold this. But uh, this is just a uh, packages I'm just um, unraveling. All this audio equipment I'm going to be putting into my uh, Ford Falcon. Oh yeah, Steve Mead, all out to you mate. One year anniversary of the DD1. Awesome. I finally brought one into New Zealand. Don't know if it's the only one here in New Zealand, but I finally got one here to set my amps like a pro. Yeah. Wow. This is the video response for the first anniversary for the DD1 uh, to Steve Mead. Uh, and DMO Engineering, thank you. Uh, just had my mate's car here. It's got a Subaru. Uh, just got the DD1 with me. I got it the other day in the package. And uh, I've just got to put the battery and everything and set it all up. And uh, then I'm just going to use his deck and amp to uh, show you how to set the games like a pro. DD1. It's worth its weight in gold, alright. Okay, I got the battery in. Let's turn it on here. Yep, she's away. Sweet. Let's turn it off for a minute. Okay. As you can see, I haven't used this yet, so it's the first time. Here's the head deck. I'm just going to have to set everything, the base, mid-range, uh, trebles down to zero, flatten everything out, and uh, yeah. Alright, so thanks I'll... to DMO Engineering, we've got the CD here with the frequencies of a tone that we need to set the um, gains on our amp. Uh, unfortunately, we've only got the base amp for this one, so we're just going to use our track one, which is 40 hertz. Um, this is the stereo, we've just reset everything back to zero, flattened out everything. So we'll play one and we'll go around and we'll into the back and we'll set our amp. Got to set the frequency crossover here all the way up. And turn our gains all the way down. Yeah, we just had a bit of a technical problem. Uh, the deck was going through a crossover unit before the amp and we weren't getting no signal from the amp so I've just connected it up RCA straight to the amp from the deck now we're detecting a 40 hertz we're going to turn up our volume here until we distort light comes on and there it is back it off one here we go so our volume there, you see that right? Put it over here. 28 it's distorting, so we're backing down to 27, there's no distortion. Sweet, so we know where that is, at 27 is our maximum volume. Sweet. Just going to set the amps <coughs> at the gain on the amp. So I'll turn our volume up to 27 there, bro. Yep. Now we're going to turn up the uh, gain on the amp here. Oh, it didn't have to move much. Back it off a little, there we go. Now our gain on our amp is set like a pro. Also do it to the mids and highs when we set all those speakers up later. But we're only de detecting the oh, 
Unfortunately, I just ran out of memory on our camera filming the DD1 on my mate's car. Uh, but we got it all sorted, back on track now. But I hope this gives me a spot in the sweepstakes for the Rockford Foscate 2500.1 BD. Uh, can't wait. Uh, hopefully I'll win it, Steve. Thank you very much for the DD1. I've got the CC1 coming ordered shortly, so I'm looking forward to calibrating my amps as well. Uh, well thank you, Dearmore Engineering, West Coast Audio, and Steve Mead.